Welcome back to Genuine Corner guys. In the last video we have seen how to call simple procedure that have no parameters using the callable statement and in this video I will show you how to pass a variable or a parameter into the stored procedure. Suppose this simple procedure takes a parameter say age and it will return the name of all members having age greater than the age given through the parameter. So for that I have to modify this stored procedure to take a symbol variable and for that I am going to right click on the symbol stored procedure and alter stored procedure. In SQL terms drop means deletion and alter table alter store alter means it is updating the structure. So create and we have a procedure and we, for that we have to define a parameter. There are three modes of parameter available in MySQL stored procedure and the first one is in, let's see which are we. So the first one is in, it is read only in nature. It is used for transferring a variable from our Java program into the MySQL procedure. And there is an out mode which is exactly reverse. And if you want to pass some values from your MySQL stored procedure back to your Java code, then you can use out mode. It is write only and there is an in out mode in out mode means it is a combination of in and out which is the, uh, the uh, a variable can be sent from your java program to my sql procedure and back to the program so let us come back here to the MySQL workbench and so we are passing in a simple in mode which means we can pass a variable from our java program into the uh, stored procedure so in and I'm going to give a, va a variable name so that will be m age and we have to specify the data type so here the age is definitely of integer type so what we want to do is we want to constrict uh, constrain the result we want to apply some constraints and that can be done using were and we want to select all the users names having the age greater than the age suppose if the if we call the simple procedure using 40 value then we have to select all the users having age greater than 40 so uh, were age this is the column name so were age greater than m age and that's it and it is a very nice idea if you can specify users 2 dot age i mean the table name dot the column name so users dot age greater than image then the user will be selected so i'm going to press on apply to modify it so apply then it's okay uh, the modification of the stored procedure is now complete and i'm coming back to the code here we are going to apply a uh, parameter so for, I am going to give a question mark here then I want to set that parameter for that stmp dot set <coughs> int just like we used in the prepared statement so int and it is of the first position and I am going to set it as 40 now if I execute this program I will get the name of members having age greater than 40 so, and uh, let me run the program again so I'm going to press shift f6 I forgot to call the uh, function from the main so let me do that pro dot callable example and I'm going to press shift f6 so as you can see we got three members Linux min users 2 and user 5 let us make sure that they have age greater than 40 for that we can use our previous code db2.java and I'm going to run it then press refresh then here you can see that there are three members Linux Mint and having the age 65 then users 2 have the age 54 and user 5 have the age 77 and these three are the members having age greater than 40 so that's it guys that's the end of this video thank you for watching this video and like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos